everybody. Uh, we have a special guest here, and uh, he will sign everything except he will not sign underpants. Let's hope uh, spend some time, and Julian's got some good things to, yeah, to share with you, I'm sure. I'm John De Benedictus here uh, with Julian De Guzman of Toronto FC and of course Canada's national team. And we're here at GMT Metro Sport, uh, the soccer store. We're at the Scarborough location and this is uh, where you kind of uh, got started with soccer shoes, isn't it? Yeah, I mean soccer shoes and uh, pretty much my uh, my love for the game too. Um, usually on my way to clearly uh, this would be one of the places I'll stop by and make sure I'm up to date with the, uh, the, right, the right gear. And uh, yeah, this is... Uh, this is definitely uh, one of the uh, most uh, memorable places I, for myself uh, growing up here in, uh, in Scarborough. What do you have to say about uh, the Adora shoes? Oh yeah, well the shoes have, uh, have, have been uh, amazing. Um, for me to be uh, the, the face of it in North America, it's, it's, it's a great uh, great honor and I'm very pleased to, to be a part of the Adora. Um, and the, the new boots, uh, the, the DD11s I believe they are. Um, they're, they're, they're a great fit, the, the leather is uh, incredible um, and also the, uh, the studs are, uh, are perfect for uh, whether it's soft or hard ground. So. Yeah, that's also another jump, a uh, big jump for, uh, for, for, for TFC making the next stage of the uh, uh, Champions League. and. Um, I mean, for us, uh, this is a, a great opportunity uh, to uh, promote and, uh, and and do something, do do well for the club at an international level. So, and how do you think Canada's going to do going into the next round? Well, it's a it's a doable group. Um, I mean, it's going to get a lot harder than uh, than the previous group, but um, I think that Canada has a a good chance in, in making the, the the top two. And uh, the, the potential is there. Uh, when, once guys get healthy and hopefully the, the right guys join the, uh, the, the, the team, then I think our, our chances will, uh, will increase. And uh, I mean, once we make it to the final round, and, and if we do make it to the final round, then there's no, definitely no turning back. Thanks to you know tournaments like the, the Robbie who have uh, been so insp inspirational and for young players and also has uh, helped the game improve. Um, now you find uh, you know, Toronto professional games uh, on TV you know, every other week or almost every day. So um, it's, it's good to see that tournament still, uh, is still standing and it is doing really well. And uh, I mean, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of it and I mean a lot of uh, players who played in the tournament have done well in their professional careers as well. You could see that the league's getting a lot more respect. Um, I mean, if you just look at uh, you know the past uh, World Cup or international games for like the U.S. and even Canada, um, a lot of MLS players are, are getting called up, and um, you, I mean the, the plays are uh, very physical. It, uh, it's, it's fast, and it's, uh, it's again it's getting a lot of attention. Pretty much a dream come true to, to be able to play in my hometown and in front of a you know sold out crowd and um, definitely that's a that's a great sign in the in the direction that the game is going. So uh, you can imagine the next probably five years um, after Canada has made its you know second World Cup um, and you could see uh, you know a, a lot a lot more attention uh, for, for the game and uh, even uh, a lot more. Uh, a success for the game and, and, and the country as well.